to the weather story. Many folks in Marble Falls today are picking up the pieces after yesterday's destructive hailstorm. Baseball sized hail fell from the skies yesterday, shattering windows of homes and cars around town. Our Sam Stark headed to the small central Texas town and talked to one woman who lost a few windows and a car repair worker who has never been busier. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty damaged. Brianna Martinez and her family had just got back home from a soccer game Tuesday night when they heard some concerning noises. And all of a sudden we just heard the rain and then just you just started hearing glass shatter. And we were like, oh no. So we took cover. The hail, which she said was the size of baseballs, crashed through the windows of their home and cars. Thankfully, everyone is safe, but it's just a bit of a headache. We'll just have to wait on insurance and see how soon we can get it fixed. I'm sure they'll be busy. Many cars that have seen better days. As you can see here, lots of broken windows. This one has a plastic wrap to keep any more water from getting in. Then you look around the car and you can see the extent of the damage. Lots of golf ball sized hail dents. And then you can see how large the hail was last night with these two impacts on the front of the windshield. Text our auto glasses to Randall. Randall Nimshk with Texar Auto Glass said his phone has not stopped ringing all day. A normal business day is not this busy. <laughs> We're swamped. We got a guy. I got a guy sitting in the van right now, just taking phone calls left and right. You have one in stock. Definitely good for business, but he said he worries for those who don't have comprehensive car insurance plans. Well, they have to pay out of pocket, so we try to cut them a good deal. Brianna said her insurance should cover the damages from the storm, and the lessons she learned are priceless. Well, hopefully never <laughs> again, but yeah, we'll definitely be prepared for yeah. sure. In Marble Falls, Sam Stark, KXAN News. Man, that could get costly. Well, the Texas Division of Emergency Management is asking people impacted by hail to report the damage to the state. It says that helps them identify needs and uncover any eligibility for disaster assistance. Now,